I had quite a few people ask me to do a follow-up on the Trisha Paytas story with David Dobrik and the Vlog Squad, and to be honest, I thought she wasn't even going to make one, so I apologize for the delay. But anyways, I ended up watching her videos, and I really wanted to make this video because it kind of touches on some subjects we've been talking about recently, like when it comes to the Dave Chappelle situation, the pro Jared and Heidi situation, as well as the Funimation situation, all right? And there's a lot that we can learn from it, so let's discuss. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community or pop culture as a whole and try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, make sure you're following me on social media, on Twitter and Instagram, at The Rewired Soul. I'm working on a bunch of different things right now, so stay up to date with me on social media. I post everything that I'm doing. Like right now, I've been recording a bunch of videos because it's the weekend, I don't have other work to do. But anyways, uh, this week it'll kind of slow down, but if you follow me on social media, you'll be up to date on what my schedule's like and what videos and other things that I'm working on. All right, so yeah, anyways, um, again, like for those of you who are new to my channel, like what I try to do, I try to do some commentary and discuss what's going on, but my videos are for you, all right? Like, they are for you, okay? So, although I will have my opinions on the situation as a whole, like, I know that on my path, my journey of trying to improve my own mental health, my own emotional well-being, like, I've had to learn a lot, and I'm still learning, and I'm still growing. But anyways, like I said, when it comes to this Trisha Paytas situation with, David Dobrik and the Vlog Squad and her ex Jason Nash and Jeff Wittek. It's like, ugh, like there's so many things that are just, that are just wrong, that are just wrong, all right? So the first thing that I wanna talk about is kind of the joke aspect, all right? Like Trisha Paytas discusses this multiple times. No one takes accountability, no one has to apologize. They can continue to mock me all they want um, by making these jokes and stuff like that. But the assault joke is, is not a joke. Even in the context Jeff said it in, whether it was directed at me or not, like the fact that that's where his mind went to, and then Todd makes a joke, he assaulted me, like, and so, so soon to that, it speaks volumes for how much these people can get away with, and, and, and it's ultimately is scary. So yeah, like when I made my videos about the Dave Chappelle situation and people freaking out, right? Like that was about people getting offended by certain jokes, okay? But then when we talk about the Funimation story, like in my opinion, one of the worst things you could do, one of the worst type of people is dishing out jokes and not being able to take them. And when we look at the, the Trisha Paytas situation, it kinda, it kinda has both of those things going on. And this is my opinion, okay? Like, like <laughs> I always try to get people out of black and white thinking, including myself. Black and white thinking is just the worst. Like so much in life is just filled with gray area. Not everything is all one way or all the other way. But in my opinion, when it comes to jokes, when it comes to comedy, it is a very black and white subject. It is very black and white. It is either a joke or it's not a joke. We don't get to pick and choose and say, oh, well, they were joking about this, but they're not joking about that. And context matters, all right? Like we have to look at it and say, okay, like for example, with Dave Chappelle, when somebody is on a stage doing a comedy special, it's pretty safe to say that pretty much everything that they're talking about is part of an act, part of a bit. You see what I mean? But outside of that, yeah, context matters. Are they joking or are they not? But here's the issue that comes up when it comes to Trisha Paytas and this whole Jeff Wittek thing and she's talking about you don't joke about that, you don't joke about it. Like, here's the thing, like you guys, like my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and I, we joke all the time. And one of the, one of the jokes we have is like, if I'm like kind of getting on her nerves, she'd be like, you want me to fight you? Like, I'm gonna fight you, right? And it's funny, it's adorable, and it's cute. So like, when I hear Trisha Paytas saying like, assault is never a joke, I'm like, come on, man. Like, come 
on. You know what I mean? Like, should I, should I, you know, try to expose my girlfriend for saying those things to me? You know what I'm saying? And like, here's what I'm, what I've been thinking about, especially like with the Dave Chappelle situation going on and after watching Trisha pay this video, like, when, when we're asking like what's going to offend certain people, because every joke is going to offend somebody. It's gonna make somebody upset, no matter what it is. Like with the whole Dave Chappelle situation, a lot of people from the LGBTQ community or allies are getting upset about that. But like I've talked about, he makes fun of suicide, he makes fun of opioid addiction, both things that have hit very close to home with me. You know what I mean? So like, I just want you to picture this for a second. Like, what should people do? Like, what's the what's the alternative? Like, should they get consent for jokes? Like, I want you to imagine somebody who's going to be telling jokes and they ask the entire group of people like, okay, are you okay with this type of joke? Show of hands. All right, are you guys okay with this type of joke? Show of hands, right? Like, that would be ridiculous. You, you see what I mean? Like, think about that. Like, all jokes are going to offend some group of people or some specific person. But here's, here's the other thing. Like, when it comes to Trisha Paytas talking about how all this kind of happened, like, her, her initial exposed video that kind of, you know, ended things with Jason and the Vlog Squad and everything like that, it was because the Vlog Squad, or David Dobrik even, wanted to, you know, do some kind of bit about a threesome with Tana, Trisha, and Jason, right? And it hurt Trisha's feelings and all that. And listen, like, we need to really evaluate ourselves and ask ourselves, are our emotions proportional to what's going on? Are they logical? Because you guys, when we tap into the emotional part of our brain, logic completely goes out the window. So here's, here's why I want to discuss again the topic of dishing out jokes but not being able to take them. Like you guys, if you go back and watch Triss's videos with the Vlog Squad while she was dating Jason, like every other video she was joking about blowing David Dobrik in front of Jason. All right, like, <laughs> like I don't get it. Like she was constantly making sexual jokes to her boyfriend. Like what if, what if Jason did this huge exposed video? Like, oh my God, well that really hurt me. That really got on my nerves. That really offended me, you know? And like he made this whole exposed video. You see what I'm saying? Like. Like I said, it is just the worst. It is the worst when you have a joking relationship with somebody and then out of nowhere, they're just like, okay, because of this day, because of this situation, you cross the line. Like this is why I try to promote self-awareness and trying to explain to people and teach people like, other people aren't causing your emotions, all right? Those emotions come from within you. So, what may have happened in Trisha's situation, like any other day, any other day, that joke might have been fine, right? But that one day was when she took it to heart. You see what I mean? Like, for example, are you as upset being stuck in traffic when you're 30, 45 minutes early to something as when you're running late to something? No, two different, two different situations that day, but the same exact scenario, being stuck in traffic. So that's when we need to dial back and say, okay, am I really upset about this or is it just on a certain day? And we need to step back and say, oh, have I joked about these things before and da 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 da. Like, we all have our lines when it comes to joking. I'm like, when I meet new people, like I try to feel them out and see like where we can, you know, go as far as jokes go. But like, I, it just kind of blows my mind because these are jokes that Trisha engaged in constantly with the vlog squad. So the last thing I wanna talk about is I just did a video about not lying to your therapist and I used the Heidi and pro Jared situation. But anyways, it's about self-awareness, it's about taking responsibility and understanding these things. And something that's really bothered me is seeing Trisha talk about, like she's so upset because Jeff Wittek said that Trisha screwed over her friend, 
or, or his friend, Jason, right? And she is just completely oblivious to what is he talking about. I never did anything to him. Like you guys, whenever I think of Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash, I think about this clip. Wait, why did you almost call the police? I'm not gonna say, she can say if she wants. I'm not gonna throw her under the bus. I what? wasn't, literally didn't do anything. I mean, what she did like wasn't that bad. I was blocking the door. <laughs> <laughs> For an hour and a half. I sat there. He went into that bedroom and I just sat there. But then. She sat right here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She sat here like a f***ing prison guard. <laughs> and I was like, Trisha, get out of the way. I'm going home. I want to go home. I need some time to myself. She's like, no. No. Holy sh**. Is like, this true? Yeah. Like, I don't know if any of you guys remember, but yeah, Trisha Paytas got pretty mad at me at one point. But like, that relationship was toxic as hell it was mutually abusive all right like it was terrible but is it possible like i like sit back and ask yourself like is it possible that when jeff is talking about this he's not talking about her like cheating on jason but she's talking about the way she treated jason right like blocking the door to a point where he is about to call the police like this is why we need to look at ourselves and say did i do anything that may have justified the response that they had. You see what I'm saying? Like, we're not the only ones with feelings. Everybody has feelings. Everybody has their own perspective. So when I look at that, and I get it, like, it's, it's rough when you go through a breakup and like the friend groups get split and you know what I mean? And uh, Trisha seems like she's very hurt because her and David used to be friends. But anyways, like, we have to think about it. Like, if I'm running around doing crazy stuff all the time, right? Like, I give people a pretty good reason not, wanna, not to wanna hang out with me. Like, when Trisha Paytas was talking about how Jeff dodged her at that Starbucks, like, what started all of this, like, I think about it, I'm like, maybe Jeff was worried about Trisha causing a scene in a public space. Like, would it be that crazy of Jeff to be concerned about that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys, we need to look at ourselves. We need to see what we're doing. Like, if we're doing outrageous, crazy things, like, people might not wanna be around us. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have to take responsibility for these things. And actually, I apologize. The last thing I wanna talk about is this. And I, this is purely, a thought that I've had. It's not even necessarily an opinion because I'm not a mind reader. I don't know what's going on in Trisha's mind, right? But this is just my opinion. So something that Trisha talks about in her video is that she can't be a voice for people who say they were a victim of the vlog squad, all right? And they need to be their own voice and everything like that. And just something that I've asked myself is, like, what are her motives? What are her real motives? And all of us need to ask ourselves this. Like, when we're when we're willing, like, to out people and expose people, like, what are our motives? Like, are we really looking for justice or do we just want to hurt the other person? And here's what I mean. Like, I don't think that David Dobrik and the Vlog Squad are these innocent little angels. Like, I'm sure there is plenty, plenty of stuff that they do that we don't even know know about and I think you know Trisha is probably correct like people don't go after the vlog squad because they are these untouchable you know people you know what I mean but here's the thing like when Trisha and Jason were, were together she was constantly talking about getting married to him having children with him and although talking about how she would let him know things that she didn't think were okay like would she have never brought this to the public light if things worked out with Jason you know what I mean? And that's where we got to ask ourselves, like, what are the actual motives here? Because she's talking about not wanting to help other people or saying she can't help other people who are victims of this thing. And I don't know, like, I'm curious what you would do in that situation. Like, if you really believe that they were doing things that were harming others, potentially illegal, assaulting people, like, wouldn't you use, like, I know I would, like, use my voice use my platform to try and help these people and try to make sure it didn't happen to others. So like I said, it's purely my opinion. It's a speculation. It's my observation from the outside, but it almost seems it's like 
she's not really trying to do this for the greater good, but unless she can directly hurt these people, that's all she wants to do. But saying that she's not gonna help out any of the other people and not be their voice with the massive platform she has, it just, it's, it's kind of questionable. So anyways, to summarize this video, the things that we need to look out for is being offended by jokes and taking them way too seriously. Don't joke with people if you can't take them. And also, take accountability and responsibility for your own craziness and actions, which might lead to people not wanting to be around you. All right? <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna be making a video right after this about the whole spill being exposed situation. I have some opinions on that, so make sure that you stay tuned. All right, but if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel in other ways, like buying merch, like this cool shirt with Wyatt on it, and my books and all that kind of stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.